a vaccine gets produced somewhere in the world. And then you have to ship it more or less globally. And so many things can go wrong in this process that it's also not possible to send all medication to all places of the world. So our goal was to develop a product which works worldwide, not depending on infrastructure in the country, and also which can protect from environmental influences. So medicines or pharmaceuticals or vaccines get too hot or too cold, and then either they are damaged or sometimes they're even destroyed. The solution is two things. So mainly it's hardware. So we need a very robust container system which can keep the temperature in any environment. And the other side is the whole IoT and IT side, which is to track, monitor and control those containers around the globe. Antis is used to develop the hardware. We use FEM for the structure, HFSS for the antennas and CFD for the flow inside the containers. Our product is seeing quite some temperature ranges during its uh, handling process. So from minus 20 degrees up to 50 degrees, we have a lot of different materials combined together. So we also have to understand this uh, thermal mechanical behavior. So we can maintain a constant temperature level over a quite long period of time. And uh, this we can achieve with a so-called passive solution. So we don't need any external additional energy supply. It's a combination, let's say, with a very advanced insulation technology and combined with phase change energy. Skycell is a very innovative company and we have a very innovative product. Antis was necessary to reach this target and it really supports us to be even more innovative and also more competitive as we can really accelerate the concept evaluation and also increase the reliability of the results. You can identify risks much earlier you can also reduce the number of iterations you use and so overall you can really save quite some time and also money and CutFem was always very supportive, especially general understanding of the ANSI software. So we know through simulations and also testing and real-life data, we know our product very, very well. And so we get a very, very low failure rate and that helps everyone. That helps the client at the end, the patient, the medicine is working, less costs. It's more efficient, faster. So the vision is very simple. We just say no loss in pharma supply chain. And I think to develop a cutting edge product, you need anti-simulations. It's not possible without. <laughs>